Estamos en la lucha. Escucha. Estamos en Chinuca. Escucha, escucha. My name is Sergio Gonzalez. I'm a banquet server at Castlewood Country Club. Those are my co-workers and our union rep. We have been fighting for a fair contract since February 25th of 2010. Tomorrow is actually uh, the two-year anniversary of the lockout. It has been two very difficult years for us. Some of my co-workers, some of their families have lost their houses. Uh, some of them, their kids, you know, they couldn't afford college anymore. Uh, many things have happened to us since uh, the problem started. We had a meeting with the management. And Jerry Olson, the general manager, told us that if we voted to keep, if we voted no, to get rid of the union, we could go back to work next day. If we decided to keep the union, to vote yes, to keep it, I don't know when you're coming back, guys. That, those were his words. It's a lockout, it's just different. Different from these people? No, one thing is a strike and another is a lockout. You know, they have more money, salary, and healthcare than any other club in the whole Bay Area. And they still want to first strike, they want more money, when the club can afford to do. And this is absolute nonsense, okay? Strike. First you went to the strike because you wanted more money. No, we than have not been a strike. A strike is when the workers and the union agreed to stop working in order to fight for a fair contract. Or a contract. No, your contract no, was beyond in this fair. Case, in this case, <laughs> it's the management, the, 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 the uh, no. club's president, Jim Clauser, and the board of directors who didn't allow the workers go back to work one day, February 25th, because two years ago. Today money. is February 24th. You see, they don't understand what a lockout is after two oh, years. Yes, We're in Man court right Google. now, and you have to pay back wages to us. You know how much? At least $50,000 per worker. You own us millions of dollars now. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> One needs to be blind, and you cannot confuse it with stupidity. We have given these people every chance to learn the facts. Like we've sent them letters, we've gone to their offices, we've called them. Yeah, we've written I, 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 I go straight. I've emails. always gone straight to the point, so it's not um, blindness. It's stupidity. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's willful ignorance. Willful ignorance. So like people they are not, choose not the to The worst see. part is mm -hmm. that they're they are really more ignorant than us. Because, you know, a union already fought for them many years ago, right? Mm -hmm. They have vacation, eight hours cheap, yeah, yeah. no? If they get overtime, time and a half, right? It's paid. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not uh, legal to discriminate in the United States of America based on age or religion or whatever. Just discrimination mm -hmm. is not allowed. This is America, right? Right, right. And the union fought for it. Yeah, yeah. Civil rights, many things, you know, but back in the Yeah, I mean, but there's been so much. Uneducation, <laughs> in a way. I mean, they are uh, educated, but at the same time, they are uh, yeah. very but ignorant. People, it's it's yeah. uh, um, it's difficult to explain. You you have to to to, to actually be there, you know, to, mm -hmm. to see, you know, how someone can be um, so educated with a master, so the doctorate, mm -hmm. the doctorate, or whatever. And at the same point, they're so ignorant that they don't know why they have what they have. Right. Right. Yeah, they think it's just because right. yeah, they think it's because they earned it. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Someone fought for it once. Yeah. And now you're saying that the, those that fought for you are the cancer of America? Yeah. Yeah. As they fight for themselves. Right. It's, it's just common sense. They can't see it. Yeah. Because for them it has been like, for us it has been dignity. For them it has been about pride and being anti-union and anti-union mm -hmm. workers since the beginning. It's yeah. not about money, it's just pride, stupid pride. Yeah, well, we For us it's we dignity. Stop union busting. Yeah. Union busting, busting is they don't, disgusting. Mm -hmm. they, don't understand. they don't understand <laughs> because they have money, right? Yeah. But the dignity cannot be, cannot, you cannot buy dignity. So for them it's impossible to understand it. Right, right. <laughs> 
on February 25th, 2010, two years ago today, I never would have imagined that we'd still be here two years later, still locked out. As stated by the sister of Mohammed Bouazizi, the Tuzanian street vendor who started the, uh, the revolution, yeah. in Tunisia, dignity is more important than bread. On February 25th, 2010, workers decided that in Pleasanton, California, dignity is more important than bread. <laughs> Vintage Foster and I'm a spokesperson for Castlewood and you know actually we we think it's right and, and we think it's healthy that the workers have a voice um, we don't necessarily agree with their position on uh, what they think we should provide and what versus what we think we should provide the fundamental uh, place of disagreement is that for 10 years uh, for the past 10 years health health care costs uh, employer-sponsored health care costs have risen 113 percent. We've never passed those costs on to the employees. Every company in America has had to deal with this issue. Castlewood's actually done a great job of protecting the employee from these increases. But now, like every other employer, we have to make a decision. And so what we've chosen is to provide 100 uh, percent coverage for the employee. But we have passed on some cost to the family um, package of health care. Now we did a survey uh, of, of country clubs here in the East Bay and surrounding areas. What we found is that the average uh, percentage that the employer provides for employees is 93%. Our proposal is 100%. What we also found 
was that the average for a family structured um, health care plan, the employer provided 48 percent. Our proposal offers 47. So we are one percentage below the average, but we're seven percentages, excuse me, seven percentage points higher uh, than the single coverage. So we think that's a good offer. Um, what, what I believe, and again, I think it's, it's more fair for the union to speak for itself, not for me to speak for them, but, but what the union feels is that's too much cost being passed on. We respect that they see it that way. We think it's a good offer. Sure, so I'm Jennifer Ong, and I've been uh, helping with the Castlewood lockout uh, since the very beginning. And it's actually interesting because uh, I've, I've developed friendships with the workers. And I, I never realized until a few months ago that all this time I've been also working with Unite Here 2850. It's, it's also my mother's local union. Um, she sold hot dogs at the Oakland Coliseum, and that's her union. Um, and when she had her kidney transplant two years ago, and before that her dialysis, um, it, it really showed to me how that could have been the, the, the turn of events that, that would have put our family in medical debt. Um, my parents both have local union jobs. When we came here from the Philippines, they sacrificed a lot. And if they didn't have their health care, we wouldn't have been able to go through college. And now I own my own optometric practice and there's so much opportunity that I've received and we take it for granted. And healthcare is really not a privilege. It, it's, such, it's such a right that, that we really should remember that every single one of us will someday be in the position of the workers. This is my uniform, this is how I work. I'm a banquet server, I have to dress fancy there. You wanna see what's the difference? This was my shoes from where I used to work. All choose. This is my uniform. That's how I used to work. See, we are all the same. We all are human beings. We all are equal. The only difference is the money or how you dress. Besides that, that's how I used to dress there. I'm a banquet server. I used to work in events, weddings, proms, whatever. You know? This is the only difference. I'm not more, not less because of this, right? We're all human beings. Thank you very much.